Welcome back to Ferris Farming Organic. Today, we're going to do a little bit of plowing. Well, actually, we're gonna be fixing the plow because I already broke it. So, got about, I don't know, 40 acres done, 50 acres done. We brought the 14 bottom Salford moldboard plow up to Lake Park here. Oh, brought it up this morning, or I guess Derek did. That's broke, there's a lot of rocks in this field. I think there's actually two Two of the shares that need changed. Luckily, it didn't break anything else besides those two. Kind of the same damage on this one. It's no good. But we got wrenches, we got a hammer and a vice grip. Charlie didn't give us an impact. We might steal one though this weekend or something. Because I do not like changing parts when it is harder than it has to be because that makes no sense. So we're gonna try to get these two changed. Hopefully there's not a whole lot of, hopefully it's not too hard, but looks like it chipped off the end actually. And that kinda, kinda sucks because this bolt sometimes, this bolt right here, you can see it, it won't, it'll keep spinning with your wrench. So that's why I have the vice grip and the hammer I'm gonna try to, I don't know, pound it out, vice grip it, then try to use the wrench. With an impact, it really doesn't work either, but I don't have to use my my arm to like turn the wrench, so it's just a lot easier. But I'm gonna put the camera down, and I'm gonna try to get this. When I come back, it'll probably be sundown. It'll probably be dark outside, but, well, I'm not done. But I wanted to show you guys what I was afraid of. So, I flipped the mic around. It's kind of annoying. Anyway, this is what I did not want to happen. So all those other bolts came out just right. But this one, this one is not. So I'm gonna have to use the vice grip, you know. Vice grip it on there, then try to use the wrench to get it off the back. There, I don't know how focused that is. But you can see how that bolt is smooth on the one side, and then on the other side it's not. So you have to have the wrench in the same spot every time, otherwise it just doesn't even go around. Because it like slid across the ground for even like a, a pass or something, and it just smoothed it down. It was probably like that more, or more than one round. But anyway, it probably hit a rock, and then it just smoothed it out, the dirt and stuff. All the which we'll call it rubbing, smoothed it down, kind of like how water makes stones smooth in a river. I think that's how that works. But uh, yeah, we got one from off. We have the new one on. We gotta get this bolt off first, though. And yeah, I'm really missing an impact right now. That is not fun. These, this plow sat in cold storage, but in a barn, so it didn't get any snow or anything on it. But we only changed like, I think I only changed like one share in the shop. We had it pretty well maintenance last fall. Um, but all those bolts and stuff are kind of rusted on because it was probably wet when we put it away. So, and I don't have any WD-40, which would make this a whole lot easier. Uh, loosen everything up. Probably should have brought that too. We'll add that to the list of things I should have brought up. But we're going to have to make this work. I think we can get it. If not, well, yeah, we'll just have to get it because there's no other really option. All right, first one's done back there. Putting the second one back on, about 99% sure this was the one I put on in the shop, the only one I changed, because those came off super easy. You can see the rock chipped off that entire tooth. That's the new one, that's the old one. Maybe I should put that one back on. But uh, <laughs> anyway, 
you can see this is kind of bent down that rock did some damage to it I call this the frog like the main piece of the plow this is the mold board that's the shin those are the shares those are the landslides I don't really know all the correct terms to use so that's what I'm gonna say because that's how I was taught but anyway I'm gonna slap this one back on we will keep going alrighty we are back in the cab it is very loud in here because it's a case and their caps are not even close to John Deere caps in my opinion but anyway about plowing right now I'm plowing in some uh, of our alfalfa oat fields whatever you want to call them the cover crop that we planted with the oats the alfalfa the clover all the weeds the, so before we plow it in though we uh, will obviously cut it I don't know if this was baled or not but we'll cut the alfalfa and stuff once or probably twice maybe three times depending on the weather and how fast it grows back and how good it grows back but I would say out there it's probably a foot high give or take and then after its last cutting it grows out and then we have chicken litter spread on the entire field I don't know the the tonnage or whatever how much is put on but it's enough that everything smells like chicken poop for about two months straight so that's awesome my pickup smells awful everything smells bad so that's fun and then we start plowing it is September 21st and I believe last year we started around the same time we're up in Lake Park right now or I'm up in Lake Park right now uh, doing some plowing we brought the V Ripper up also and I don't think we're gonna plow as much at least up here as we have the past couple years hopefully we can knock it out it's just two fields uh, 120 and then a like a 280 290 so still quite a bit and I'm getting like 10 acres an hour so <laughs> it's gonna take a little bit I'm going four and a half or fifth gear wide not wide open I'm trying to keep my rpms down so I don't burn through so much diesel because this burns a lot of diesel anyway enough about the tractor I'm gonna turn the flippy camera around in the microphone and show you guys the plow so this is a 14 bottom Salford moldboard plow I believe it's like a 8200 model or something don't quote me on that but it's a pretty big plow it's got the I don't know how to really explain it or what the word I'm looking for here is but it it's six uh, six bottoms in the front and then eight in the back and so that middle right there pivots um, so like when you go on the road you don't have it all the way swung out it's like swung behind the the middle part if there's a video of last year's plowing that I did I didn't really explain it super great but yeah it'll show you I'll show you guys again though um, it's ran off of three hydraulics so the number one is like the front three bottoms uh, second one's the middle like six or so and then the third one's the very back so this front wheel right here oh getting a phone call alrighty I'm back I don't know where I was but I think I was on the hydraulics but yeah one is the front two is the middle and three is the back and like I said I don't know if I have explained that before the lever kind of in the middle of the back eight you can flip up and then this third hydraulic will spin that wheel back and forth and that's how you get it lined up for the for the road anyway some specs on the, the plow here I just measured it with my phone so it's pretty much 100% uh, right it's about oh what was it like 60 62 feet from the hitch to the back wheel when it's in like field mode or when it's angled you know like lined up for the field and then when I measured from the very tip of the front blade to the all the way back of the back blade like uh, this way it was 22 feet 22 feet I think and then I 
I'm pretty sure the back wheel sticks out a little bit farther, like a couple inches, and then the furrow wheel sticks out another inch or so. So it's, I would say it's around 22 feet. Uh, this way, width, the width is about 22 feet. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Right now I have my, my working width set at like, I think it's 20 or 21 and it seems to be getting around about the right amount of acres per hour and it, it seems to calculate the acres correctly like I'm not I'm not doing 120 acres and then ending up with like 200 acres work or something like that if that makes sense and I will definitely do a video of talking like why the benefits of plowing and I don't know more stuff about that but it's the first day we have like six more weeks to go of just plowing and that is primarily what I will be doing for those six weeks so I'm not going to tell you guys everything right away because that ruins all the fun but yeah it's a little intro into plowing 101 and what the rest of my fall will look like And that'll conclude today's video covering the plow. Didn't really cover it a whole lot. That'll be a video for another time. Like I said, I'll be doing this for a while. It's actually the second day I'm recording. And uh, yeah, it's going great. But I'll get back to you guys in a week, give you a nice little update. Next video is going to be Jack. He is going to do a video because he has it in a long time. But uh, follow the Instagram. It'll be in the description. Uh, make sure to subscribe. We're closing in on that 1,000 subscriber mark. And that means the X9 giveaway. So, yeah. Subscribe for that, if anything. And, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. And we will catch you in the next one.